Are you a projector in human design? Stay tuned for the human design projector basics. We're going to go all the way through this aura type. See you on the other side. Welcome to the Human Design Projector Basics. This training is designated for primarily projectors, but really for anyone who has a projector in their family, or has friends, or clients, or coworkers, or are just plain curious about how this org type works. If you are a projector, you will notice that you do not have a colored in red square right here. This is called the sacral center. It will always be white. So if you're a projector, this is going to be white. Now there's a lot of other things that are gonna be happening in their chart that are gonna be specific to you. But for projectors, we do not have any sacral energy. Here are some of the things you notice if you are a projector. One, you have ideas, insights, recognitions for people. You can't wait to tell everyone everything you know. Often people don't want to hear what you have to say. Oftentimes they won't recognize you. They might actually steal your ideas or they might just blow you off. You might feel tired, burned out, fried, or you might just get sick a lot. If you are a projector athlete, you might be injured more than most people. This was something I found out. I was an athlete as a child, and I've heard people tell me, oh, you know, projectors, you just won't see them as athletes. Well, I was a very high level, elite level gymnast and for many, many years, and that didn't quite make sense to me. And then I heard someone mention that if you were an athlete or if you are an athlete and you are working out at the level of everyone else, I was working out five hours a day, six days a week, um, you might find yourself injured more than most. And I actually had my entire childhood in the hospital, broken bones, knee, you know, torn ligaments. And so I was definitely injured more than most people. So as we become more sophisticated in this information, we'll understand that yes, projectors can be athletes, but you do not need to train as many hours. And if you find yourself being injured, then you're definitely overworking yourself. At first, you may feel like you can work longer and harder than anyone else, not really knowing when enough is enough. This is because you're actually absorbing and amplifying the generator energy. And so you're not sure what energy is yours. You're actually riding off of the energy of most of the population. We have 70% generators and only 20% percent projector so you're going to be riding off that generator fuel and you're not going to really know when enough is enough you might also see things that could be different you might know what other people can do you really have a sense of how to improve things oftentimes you might find yourself shouting to be heard or trying to talk over people trying to get people to really listen to you projectors have only been here since 1781 so what does this mean it's a new org type as of the date of this recording, there's approximately 22.65% of the population right now with this particular org type. It is here to lead, guide, and direct. And manifestors actually used to lead the world. They sort of are the ones who created the just do it sort of mindset. Manifestors were the ones who, you know, they said, line up, and we lined up. They spoke, we followed. And they were the ones who really were able to make change uh, here on the planet. But since 1781, the projectors have come on. We really haven't seen our day yet, but it is coming. As a matter of fact, it's already starting to change now and probably for the next 10 years that the projectors are, are now kind of leading, moving into the leader of the hierarchy. There is a change that is happening 
And there's a lot of controversy as to why this is, and no one really knows the truth, not even Ra, to be perfectly honest with you, Ra Uruhu, the founder of human design. But my theory on this is that, yes, we are moving into a time of differentiation. We're moving out of the era of planning and into the era of the individual, which basically means that we need to recognize people for their uniqueness and we need to do things differently on the planet and we need we're in a process of human evolution and the projector is just a new aura type that's going to help to shift shift and change this human evolutionary change and you know the manifestors may have been able to do it by themselves but now we need to really work together and learn what makes us different and learn how to work in a way that is actually going to really assist the entire planet recognition so most of us kind of know if we're a projector that our strategy is to wait for the invitation and so recognition is not just about the invitation. The recognition is a little bit deeper. Recognition is what we need in order to be animated. So projectors need to feel the recognition or they need to be recognized for their energy to come online. It's almost like the recognition lights the projector up. It provides them with energy. It provides them with fuel. Once a projector is recognized, that means that is the work that is correct for them. Recognition is like an inspiration. It's a feeling that lights a projector up and gives them the, the proper opening. The doors begin to open. So that's the invitation you can feel it all over your body. And this is something that I deeply encourage everyone who works with me, how to feel that recognition. It's not a mental game. As a matter of fact, all of this information that I'm giving you today is an experiment. We teach an entire protocol. My partner and I, Davidian, we teach an entire protocol, not just human design, because that's only one piece of the puzzle is the aura mechanic. But we go into how to really utilize this intel in your life and in your business so that you can really live a more successful life. And one of the things is really understanding and feeling how this recognition awakens inside of you. And so you recognize other people, you recognize who is right for you, and other people recognize you. It's a feeling all over the body, an inspiration, a knowing. Just because people invite you somewhere, they might not really get you. So the more you know about yourself, the easier it is to know if someone's really getting you, really seeing you, and really recognizing you. And there's a way to distinguish between the proper invitation and one that's not right for you. This can be very confusing at first, and so you really want to be present to how invitations feel once you get in as well, you're going to know right away if it doesn't feel right. Your aura is penetrating, okay? So the projector aura is like a laser beam that goes into the auric field of the other straight into the center. When you're working with people, providing insight and providing guidance for them, it's intense. It's deeply penetrating and it can actually be painful for people. It's like a knife. It's like doing surgery. And if you are providing surgery for someone who doesn't want it, they're going to be quite annoyed. They're going to not like you. They're going to not appreciate what you're giving them. And they're going to be uncomfortable. And so you've really got to make sure that you are protective of who you're providing your genius to because not everyone gets you and not everyone is here to need your genius. And I will tell you one other thing. It's not who you think it is. You know, people who love you and who are part of your family and your friends in that particular unit, they may not need your genius, your wisdom, your insights, your guidance. And this is a real tricky thing to get is that sometimes when you start taking on this experiment, 
people fall away and even though they want you and they love you they may not be recognizing you and you may start to feel uncomfortable around certain people because of that i highly recommend that you spend time in your own aura you sleep alone you get to know your aura by yourself so that you can really feel the difference when someone is really interested and wanting your intel because man it feels amazing when people need your insight and your guidance and it feels really bad when you're seeing what you can do to help and serve people and they are not wanting it, they're not asking for it, and it can really drain you. It can be very, very uncomfortable. So start getting super present with your own orc field. Start feeling into who is asking for your intel and do not provide information to friends and family simply because they're in your circle. The invitation. So you really need to be recognized and invited for business, for relationships, for living situations, for bonding, for networking, for big things. Okay, you don't need to be invited to go to the store, to go, you know, buy a car, get gas, you know, things like that. But, you know, without the invitation, projectors feel really stressed. There's doubt, there's tension, there's fear, there's dread, there's angst, and there's bitterness. You know, why is it happening so quickly for other people? Bitterness is the main not self theme, but, you know, you do experience other tensions around waiting for the invitation. And so this is really the superpower and the, the area that you have to practice and get really super good at. So your goal is to get super comfy, relaxing, learning who you are, mastering systems, and watching for who needs your genius. And this can be very joyful or it can be very stressful. Generators and projectors go hand in hand. So as a projector, you are here to lead, guide, and direct the generator. You can teach them how to use their energy properly, what's right for them, what's correct for them, and man, you can save them a lot of frustration if they're willing to listen. So the projector is the alpha in business. Hello, BG5 Penta. This is a lot of deep intel that I will be getting to. So if you're interested in more, please subscribe to my channel. Channel. And also make sure you give me some comments and some questions about how you are in business. And if you want to learn more about the Penta, this is a whole other aspect of human design. And it's really helpful to understand it if you're a projector because we are here to guide the Penta, which is basically when three people come together, it's a trans auric entity that's formed. We are here to really be the alpha dog. We're here to, you know, lead. But how the heck can you be honored when you're only working three hours a day? Well, you know, you may not see yourself leading huge companies at the moment because in most of our society, most of our culture, working three hours a day is still round upon. Um, um, we live in this capitalistic world and it's run by generators and, you know, people can work for 12 hours a day and th this is actually revered. The projector is here to change all of that and we are here to be honored. So hear me closely if you're a projector or a generator listening to this. We need to begin to honor the projector and everyone really for working less, working properly, working correctly. Once we are recognized, man, the world is going to change, okay? Because we do not need to be slaves anymore. And this is the main message that projectors will be providing the world over the next 10 years. You can free yourself and unshackle your hands from the handcuffs of being slaves to this workforce. You may have the energy to work, but you are not here to work doing something you don't love as a generator. And projectors, you're not really here to work long hours. Yes, you're probably going to be really good and specialize in something, but a couple of hours a day, is, that's all you really need to do. And you need to be able to help and guide and show people how to work less and work smarter. 
So wake up world, projectors are here to show you how to work smarter, exert less energy, only do what you love, do what's right for you with less frustration and with more joy. So it is your job to recognize how we can serve you and projectors, it is your job to really understand how your aura works, okay? You can't rush the process, but you might wanna know a couple of things. Because you cannot keep up with the generator world, you must, and I mean, absolutely must work on your mindset of abundance to make up for it. Now, this is not something I see in the human design world, which is why we've created our own system, our own protocol to really help you understand that you need to know the abundance and the inner mindset work. This is really incorporating manifestation into learning your aura mechanic because aura mechanics are only part of the equation. If you fall into victim, then the bitterness amplifies and you won't be recognized, okay? So you need to learn how to really align your energy, align and visualize and align to the right mindset. And this is a process, it's a, you know, the Jedi practice of the projector. And it's about really opening up the door to massive abundance and massive unleashing of the mindset that awakens the success because those two things have to come hand in hand. You have to learn how to step into that frequency, that alignment, that energy field in order for people to really, one, recognize you and in order for your life to just be easier. I see so many projectors falling into victim. You know, I can't keep up. I can't manifest. And they really do bump their heads and trip and fall and struggle. But you have to incorporate many many things into this intel in order for you to really live out the important work and important role you're here to live on the planet right now. So how do you have your own business when you're a projector? And I get this question all the time. We work with projectors in business and we really help projectors and generators, obviously, how to run their businesses in alignment with who they truly are in practice. Now, I don't just teach you stuff to memorize and study. No, this is in practice. This is how to actually have a business that works and you're actually making money because that's really the key. You've got to have something in practice. Okay. So one, if you can, you do want to partner with a generator. Projectors and generators make great partners. Hence why Davidian and I work together. I'm the projector. He's the generator. We work hand in hand. It's a really great way to increase your business and having that generator fuel to partner with. Uh, Make sure you do not overwork. If you get exhausted or tired and overwork, you're going to be burned out for quite a long time. It takes a while to get your inspiration back. So just don't go there. Don't overwork. Mindset, mindset, mindset. This is a word, but it's actually an entire protocol that you have to take the time to really learn. And we do teach you this. If you're interested, you can click on the link for more information on mindset. And we really do stress this in the work that we do. And it's really, really important. We have other videos also available for you if you're interested in learning more about how to utilize this in your business. So you do have to make sure to master systems you are here to master systems. And this means get good at something. This will help you stand out. It'll help you be recognized. And it will help you take your genius out on a walk. Once you master the systems, you can expose it, take it out, show people without pushing or trying to be seen. Okay. Don't freak out while you're waiting. This is huge. You know, you've got to enjoy and be in joy and know that it might take you longer. You're here to be successful and to lead, guide, and direct. Like I said, it might take you longer, so don't listen to any coaches that are generators, okay? Hint, they don't get you. I cannot tell you how much money I've spent with generator coaches that tell you to do things every single day, tell you to push, tell you to get stuff done. Generators, I hate to tell you this, but projectors are here to guide you, and projectors, they are not going to get you, and so it's really important to have the proper coach to help lead, guide, direct, recognize your genius 
genius so that you're not overworking and that you're not doing things that generators tell you to do because it's gonna make you so frustrated you will not get the results you're gonna just end up with mud on your face you're gonna feel like you've run a marathon and everyone else is gonna be like woo I just made this amount of money and you're like what and so you just have to not listen to generator coaches what they do that works for them just won't work for you the projector auras are magical if someone is not naturally drawn to you you are being protected okay this is how you protect yourself you really only want people who are naturally drawn naturally asking you questions and who are willing to pay you you cannot give your stuff away for free you must value yourself everyone is trying to take from projectors and they will bleed you dry if you do not honor your value do not work for free i'm going to repeat this i have had so many people asking me to work for free it's not even funny um, so do not work for free set your boundaries really clear you are here to specialize and you actually do need to charge more than other people because you have to work less and specialize awesome it was great to connect with you projectors if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and make sure you sign up for our free gift the big vision envision seven day challenge we take you on the journey of understanding how to have a business with your unique aura type. I hope this was helpful and I will look forward to seeing you subscribe to our channel so we can provide you with more intel on how to run a business in alignment with your design.